autistic people are nine times more likely to die by suicide, which I think even hearing that makes you understand how you know urgent it is. The Autism Hive is a mental health suicide awareness charity. It's a service led by autistic young people, their ages between 16 and 25. This is so important to me because unfortunately my son, who was autistic, um, died by suicide February 2021. It was then as a mother I wanted to know how did my son be in this position that I didn't see coming. I had to get up and keep going, so what did I do? I started the hive. Julia I have found to be very human in her experience and she connects and relates uh, quite quickly uh, to people and has that empathy that, that, that people, you know, um, respond to. She's very genuine in the support that she wants to give and can give. Um, she's got a great attitude in relation to working in partnership with people and that's what makes the Hive special. The Autism Hive is just a, a small group of young people at the moment that are meeting together once a week on a Thursday morning. We do arts and crafts, we do games, chess. We took them one day to the rage room, so we got to break TVs and do different things. So it was really a, a way for them to get their frustrations out. As an autistic person turns to adulthood, the services aren't available. The like of what we do, it's just bringing them alongside to see what, you know, where, where we can show them where to go. My name is Rebecca McCulloch. I am the founder of Eden Consultancy, which is a business that works at equipping those who are working with or raising neurodiverse individuals. And then linking together with Julia, that's been that beautiful collaboration of her lived experience, um, and especially then talking about mental health and autism. I personally speaking with my daughter, we have experienced four attempts of suicide within her journey. And that's from as early as 13 years old. Why are our kids nine times more likely to commit suicide if they have autism? And three out of 10 with autism and Asperger's go ahead and attempt suicide. So we're asking the questions of why that is. And that's why the Autism Hive is so key at a key time when there's such a prevalence of suicide within our area of Northern Ireland. The National Lottery were actually the first ones to give us any funding. I think to get the recognition from the lottery of what we are doing and understanding how important our services is, has definitely give us the confidence to go further. What we really want for the Autism Hive is that when you come and you're autistic, that as soon as you step through the door, you're going to get um, diagnosed. Then we're going to be able to send you to the other services that are available. So it's like a one-stop progress, but then it's also given back to education and training and early intervention. There's hope out there for autistic adults that people are more aware of autism and mental health and suicide. The Autism Hive is just everything about Luke. Doing anything, you know, with the Autism Hive, he's the first person that I think of. Would he have liked it? Would have it been something that, you know, he, he would have found useful? You know, would it have made his life easier?